welcome to Maker Bell, where I make things that are usually not bells. So I saw this really cool project idea that I'm totally stealing. It's in a video made by Banana Javana. I, I'm so sorry, I hope I'm saying that right. And I'll link her video below, of course. But she made a really cool pin display for Disney pins. And my husband is a huge Disney fan, so I saw that project, I knew I had to make it for him. And Valentine's Day is coming up, so it's gonna be his Valentine's present. So my husband has all these Disney pins, and they're sitting very sadly on this lanyard in a box in the closet. And I think they should just be displayed and out there. I don't know anything about them. They're all very shiny. Shiny things are neat, so let's do it. And we're also going to Disney in a few months, so that'll give him the excuse to get more Disney pins, because that's probably the best gift of all, is the excuse to get more things. So I already have a canvas and I'm gonna start painting it. I don't have a lot of space to work on this because I have a project from a future video all over my floor, but I got the canvas on a very sad box and I'm starting to sketch out kind of the lines that I will be using to put tape across the canvas and then I'll have nice even little squares. Oh no, I thought it was time to paint, and then I realized this still includes the little gaps. Um, so I either need to tape off even more of the area, or... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I decided to add even more tape so that the sections were about an inch and a quarter wide. And then I start painting. I'm making a color gradient that goes from red to yellowish green. I'm using five colors to achieve this look. Red, purple, blue, teal, green, and yellow. I'll be using white and black paint to make some of the colors lighter or darker. I'm using cheap paint, so I need to go over each color twice after it dried for a bit. I don't know how, but it took an hour to paint it all the squares. And look at this! The yellow paint exploded! Why? I kind of just scoop it back into the paint thing after a bit. I have no idea how I managed to do that. Okay, I need to take the tape off and I am very scared. I'm gonna pull it off slowly so it doesn't tear the paint or anything. There's so much tape on here, and I hate using tape because I feel bad for throwing it away after one use, but I'm gonna have to use new tape every time because apparently it doesn't absorb uh, the paint as well if it already absorbed it. Oh my gosh, this is so taped on. Oh, this is not an exciting reveal. I'm gonna be peeling off tape for like an hour. <laughs> Okay, it bled over. Oh, that one bled over a lot. That one right there. That one's a bad one. Oh no. I might put white paint over that and see if that helps. Oh, slowly, slowly. Uh, yeah, they're bleeding over. This tape sucks, apparently. <laughs> or I'm bad at taping things, which... Yeah, I won't deny that. Okay, this one's good. It's just this first one that's so bad and then the other ones are okay. Yeah, those aren't too bad. I'm glad it was one at the bottom that's bad because it won't be too visible. Oh, that's so much wasted tape. I'm gonna go through this whole thing of tape probably. I, ugh. That's awful. There it is. I wish I had a 
tape that was perfectly the size I needed to be at an inch and a quarter. But I don't plan ahead that well, apparently. The blue tape that I have is an inch and a half. Ugh. Thank you, thank you. Oh, can I have this please? Thank you, very kind. Oh, okay, these aren't too bad. So now I'm gonna paint in between them. It's going to be a darker color. How do I have this set up? Yeah, it's gonna be the darker color next to the other ones. Okay, I wanna do um, two regular colors and then a lighter color and a darker color. And I want to do the two regular colors first, but it looks like we're doing the darker color first. We're just gonna mix some colors and then mix them with black and make them darker. I started painting in the darker colors and guess what? My phone ran out of storage, so this video was cut short. My phone had five gigabytes of storage, so I transferred a bunch of videos to my computer and now it has 55. But here's how it looked after painting. Then more tape removal. Is this more or less satisfying than removing the tape one at a time? It's definitely a lot quicker. Oh, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, we have a bunch of squares that are smaller than other squares. We've got gaps between squares. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'll try to fix it after it's done, but ooh. The colors all look good though. The colors look really nice. It's okay. It could be worse. I'm adding on the third squares, which are the same color as the first one. Also, I listen to podcasts when I film longer projects like this. During one of the recordings, my laptop freaked out and just played the same noise from the podcast. Like, I think the person from the podcast said book, and my laptop just played the uh sound for like a minute. I was trying to get it to stop, but the screen was black and the dumb thing would not turn off. So I held down the power button for like 10 seconds and it finally stopped being possessed. Then it turned back on and acted like it was just updating. Yeah, sure, more like downloading many ghosts. And the worst part is, I couldn't find that part when editing my video. I'm pretty sure it happened after my phone ran out of storage and stopped recording. Because of course it didn't want to witness my haunted laptop. The audacity! And here's the last color. This one is the lightest color, so I'm mixing each color with white paint. I didn't make some of the colors light enough, so I went back over them with a lighter color. I'm usually not a fan of paint, but I appreciate that I can easily cover up mistakes like that. My phone alarm ended up going off near the end of this recording, which stopped the recording because of course it did. But I noticed that it wasn't recording this time, so I didn't actually miss anything. Everything's all dry again, so get ready for the final reveal. Yeah, the only downside of this project is it used up a whole roll of tape. I have a teeny bit left, but oh, look at all this. I tried to cover up some of the white spots where it bled over, like over here, so it looks better. I also tried to blend this color and it turned out darker because paint dries darker, apparently. I, I don't think I should try to blend any colors because it looks kind of weird. Um, I think I might just go with it as it is. I'll touch up some of the colors that don't need to be blended, like the these guys and I don't even know there's some of them it looks so cool though even with all the weird gaps 
I just painted between all of them with kind of a similar color, and it looks so much better. You can tell like, oh, this doesn't quite match, but it's better than the white canvas behind it. So I'm gonna add all the pins and the gift will be ready. I couldn't figure out how to get the backs off the pins, and it turns out you need the smallest hex wrench in existence. <laughs> Look at this, it's so tiny! Why is it so tiny? It's the size of a pencil lead. So, we had to go out and get one of those and then actually put the, the pins on. But it turned out so good! Zach loves it. We're gonna have so much fun going to Disney and getting more pins for this because there's a lot of space left on this. And I also had this little ghostie that I got from the Etsy shop Majestic Mythical Makes. Yeah, once again, this was inspired by the pin holder that Banana Jamana made. Make sure to go check out her YouTube. I love her videos. And hers turned out much better, but I, I like mine. I love these colors. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like to appease the algorithm and subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos every week. Thanks for watching. Bye.